the reason that something is pleasing to us as, a, as, a, as an animal, as a human, is because it's good for us and our survival. So the reason we have these positive associations and maybe all this range of emotion when we listen to music and dance is because it, those experiences are important to our survival. Things that are important to our survival are linked by our history into our reward system to make us seek them out and, and experience them again and again and again. So why is music adaptive, or is it adaptive? So this is a point of controversy, and you'll see that there are different views about it. And there are speculations. There's no yet clear evidence for how to decide if it's adaptive or not. But there are, these are the kinds of speculations. So people speculate that emotion, that the music allows us to regulate our emotions together. And that's uh, a way of sort of harmonizing us ourselves socially as a group. That, um, it allows us to choose our mates, that it allows us to bond with our, our offspring, uh, our, the, the ones that we're uh, caring for as caretakers. It allows us to uh, cohere as a group before a battle or a hunt or some other kind of ritual that we might have. It manages a situation of social complexity where it's, it's ambiguous or uh, difficult to figure out how we proceed. We can use music in that sense. Coalitions, we signal to other groups that by singing and dancing together in a kind of coherent way that we're, we're organized. We can't be screwed with. You can't come and take our, uh, our belongings, our land, because we're, we're a coherent uh, signaled group. And then finally, the most interesting from a neuroscience point of view is that music is a source of play. And play allows different parts of the brain, different neural systems to wire up at critical periods of development and that those things confer um, an advantage. And there's a set of uh, findings that look at uh, the benefits of being a musician early in life on intellectual development and intellectual uh, abilities later in life that, that tap to this idea. So these are all speculations about how music has a, uh, an adaptive uh, nature. So it's adaptive. And then it has this, um, an emotional component as well. And in the next slide after this slide, is an example of some of the kind of brain activity you see. And again, this is just average people lying in a scanner listening to music from the 1920s in Turkey that they'd never heard before, but they really liked. And as a consequence, you get a lot of uh, a set of brain areas activated that are active for things like reward situations for drugs or sexual experiences or uh, food, all kinds of gratifications. And here they're active just for a novel music you've never heard before, a bit like walking along and hearing some kind of music just that you didn't expect. You can also uh, plot the kinds of brain areas that are active when you have these experiences that are some call, sometimes called chills, where you have this kind of shiver effect. Uh, it's something you really care for. And you get uh, all the emotion areas, and then you get the somatosensory areas that represent motion and sense, sensing your body move at the same time, uh, and memory, all of these kinds of areas that are richly embedded. And then finally, an important feature about emotional experiences in general, which are shown in, in music as well, is that we can distinguish subtle changes between, and we're just choosing gross verbal terms, happy, sad, angry, and danceable, and there's a whole range of things you could use terms to describe music, but it's much more complicated, and, and language fails to describe music's experiences. Yet, people can distinguish these subtle emotional states, and, and their, their, distinguish, their discriminations depend on these subtle differences in brain activity that we all uh, feel. Sometimes we can describe, but we can all feel. And, and scientists, people like me and, and the rest and the three of us here, work at trying to distinguish how those things happen in the brain. 